Hello. Okay, so we've been on algebra for a little while now, and algebra is just that one thing that we're just going to keep on going with. We're going to be doing this stuff until you're in ninth grade, and then you're still going to see it a little bit in tenth grade. So more algebra expressions, also known as algebraic expressions, and we're going to touch a lot on the subtracting piece of this um, because some kids get messed up with the less than's decreased by and some of the words the sum and the product of the um the quantity usually when you see the word the quantity that means you're going to have in parentheses involved so just a reminder about that but we'll give you some extra practice on some of these so if you're one of my students and you're taking notes you should be taking notes on all this stuff so here we go four less than the sum of p and six so here we go. So 4 less than the sum of p and 6. Remember, less than means we have to put the 4 after this. The sum means we're going to be adding something. So 4 less than the sum of p and 6. So we have to have the answer of the p plus the 6 before we can take 4 from it. So the word less than means that normally if it was in the front, like if we were to translate this, we would have a 4 minus P plus 6. But because 4 has to be less than the sum of this, we have to have the sum first before we can take 4 less than it. So this is the same as you can see. However, this means something completely different. This means 4 decreased by the sum of P and 6. This is a situation where the four would come first. Now listen to how those are sound, how they sound. Four less than the sum of this. We have to have the sum before we can take four less. Where this is, you have four, decrease it by the sum of P and six. So we have to have four and then take away this answer. So if we're looking at this one, we have P decreased by 12. P, whatever P is, decrease 12. W less than four and a half. So we have to have the four and a half before we can say W less than it. So we don't know what W is, but we're taking it from this. So 4.5, four and a half, four and five tenths has to come first before the W. It's a little bit weird, but when you see the words less than, greater than, fewer than, all the thans, we have to change it up. The sum meaning addition, of G and W reduced by 14. So we have to have the sum of it. So we have to have the answer to the G plus W first. Let's make that parenthesis a little bit better. Before we can reduce it by 14. So we have to have the sum of that before we can take 14 from it. 5 less than Y plus W. So here's that less than again. So that 5 minus 5 is coming at the end. So 5 less than y. So 5 less than a y plus w. So 5 less than y plus w. Now, you could put this in parentheses. It's not going to change it, but that's just a way to write it. 5 less than the sum of y and w, 5 less than, there we go again, so that minus 5 is at the end, but we want to take 5 less than the sum. So we need an answer to the addition problem of y plus w. So 5 less than the sum of this. So hopefully that helped you out a little bit, remembering that less thans, go after what would have naturally been after it. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I love math and DC.